Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to find the second highest salary in a SQL table. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is how to find the second highest salary in SQL. So this particular type of questions will be most frequently asked in data analytics interview questions. So let's try to understand the syntax of how to find the not just a second but any number of salaries given in a SQL table. Let's say your interviewer asked you to find the top third salary or top fourth salary. You can find that using the same syntax. So the syntax is something similar to this as shown now. But before we begin, if you are an aspiring data analyst, then I have the perfect course for you. We have the Professional Certificate Program in Data Analytics. Boost your career with this data analytics program in partnership with Purdue University and in collaboration with IBM, which features master classes and follows an applied learning model with real-time projects and business case studies. Now that we have a clear understanding of the PGP data analytics certification with Simply Learn in collaboration with IBM from Purdue University, we will get started with our tutorial for today's session. So here you can see select star. You can also use the specific columns you want that is name and salary, but I'm selecting star that is every single column in my table. That is select star from employee table, group by salary. So you'll be grouping by salary here and order by salary descending. Since we wanted to find the highest, we will be choosing the descending order that is increased number. That is the highest number to the lowest number. In case if your employer or if your interviewer asks you to find the lowest salary, then you will be using the ascent descending order right so since we are given the condition that we have to find the highest we will use the descending order then limit n minus 1 let's say you're supposed to find the fifth highest salary then the formula will be 5 minus 1 and the limit 1 that is you just want one single row to be displayed on your output right so that's the reason we'll be giving limit as 1 right so this is the simple syntax you will be following now let's quickly execute this on my SQL workbench and try to get our results back to the Microsoft SQL workbench so now we are on the my SQL workbench let's quickly use the database and get access to our all tables now we have access to the tables and the employee table which we were working on so let's quickly have the show tables here and we have employee and employee table too. We will be accessing the employee table which has the salary details. So there you go. We have Rakesh, Jack, Regina, etc. Right. So here you can see Karan has the highest salary and the next second highest salary is Rakesh. So we need to fetch this particular column here. Right. Since our expectation is to find the second highest salary, let's try to write the following code. That is select star from employee. group by salary order by salary descending order since we want highest salary and the limit n minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 or you can also write as 1 comma 1 and done and let's quickly execute this code and there you go now let's say we want to find the third highest salary so here n minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 and execute this and there you go you have Regina so that's how you can extract second highest salary or any number of highest salary or the lowest salary based on the query changes you're doing let's say if you want to highest salary then you should be using descending order let's say you want the lowest salary should be using the ascending order so that's how you can extract the second highest salary from sql tables and with that we have come to an end of this session and if you have any queries or if you require the resources that we used in the session maybe the sample codes syntax or the ppt then do let us know and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.